So what is a distributed router? It is a new model which literally disaggregates the traditional chassis into its building blocks so they can scale. First, it starts with disaggregating the hardware and the software. The cloud-native software is from DriveNet and the hardware is based on standard networking white boxes. Second, it disaggregates the control plane from the data plane. The data plane is based on two white box building blocks, NCP and NCF. A single NCP is a 4 terabit per second router, while clustering NCPs and NCFs together create any size router up to 768 terabits per second. This creates a very flexible router model. So let's get started with the white boxes. Let's drill down to the different components of the DVC. So we are looking at both the fabric and also the line card. The fabric itself is made up with the Broadcom fabric element architecture based on the Ramon chipset. The line card itself is based on the Broadcom Jericho 2 chipset. This is built based on the AT&T DVC specification. It has the NAPS 3 uh, compliance along with the TP76200 compliance specified by AT&T. We support the 1588 version 2 uh, transparent clock. These devices, they also operate on industrial temperature from 0 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. The white boxes are connected with 400 gig optical cables. Let's hear from Credo how their innovation reduced power consumption of their cables and therefore that of the entire router. The key difference between DVCs and traditional chassis is the way the interconnect is done. In a traditional chassis, it would be a circuit board on the back of the chassis. In a DVC, as you can see behind me, it's done with cables. Traditionally, there's two types of cables that are used. DAC cables, which are too thick to route at this density, and optics, which have way too much power to route at this density. And what you see here are high-wire class AECs. These have 75% less power than optics and take up 75% less volume than DACs. The other thing to think about is how you route these cables. So traditionally, you would route cables all the way up to a tray and back down. That makes the cable length much longer than is needed. In this case, we've used an HPC style of routing. And as you can see, we've routed these cables laterally from here to here, which keeps the lengths as short as possible, keeping cost and power down. So what did we discuss so far? The white box model, based on merchant silicon, lowers the router's cost. The innovative cable, which removes chassis power limitation and reduces power consumption. So now, let's talk about the software. So the software that powers this demonstration behind me is the DriveNet's network cloud. It creates operational simplicity out of hardware complexity. The DriveNet's network cloud consists of the DriveNet's network operating system, or DNOS, and the DriveNet's network orchestrator, or DNOR. It is a clean sheet design system of software that's built to support all the way from a single box through the 96 terabit version behind me, as well as systems up to 192 terabits. It's distributed software based on containers and microservices and allows scale as you add hardware elements to the system. Most importantly, it creates operational simplicity for both the network as well as the operator by making this collection of hardware behind me look like a single network element, a single router in your network. The distributed disaggregated router model architects the network in the same way hyperscalers have architected the cloud, software-based running over white boxes. With the constant need to scale network capacity and lower network cost, the DDC model pretty much makes the traditional router chassis a thing of the past. Thank you for joining us today.